Pumpkin Day at Lehman Farms is coming up this weekend. The event was rescheduled from earlier in the year. Lehman Farms actually grows pink pumpkins mm. and they paint pink pumpkins too. Those are the ones right there you see that they grow. I've never heard of a pink pumpkin being grown. Me neither. Interesting. Susan G. Cohen, Virginia Blue Ridge, gets some of the proceeds. New this morning, an artist in Roanoke's found a unique way to spread awareness. WSLS 10's Rob Manch joining us live this morning from Roanoke with more on an underwater sculpture that's being used to honor a woman who's fighting the disease. Rob, good morning. Good morning, Patrick. Yeah, check it out. Here's the sculpture that artist Thomas McDonald has been working on for the past three months here in his workshop in downtown Roanoke. And come February, he plans to lower a 50,000 pound cement version of this sculpture below the waves in West Palm Beach, Florida. That's where model Andrea Torrente calls home. Now, McDonald says he chose Torrente as his model for the sculpture because she's currently battling with breast cancer, and he has several members of his family are, who are also survivors of that disease. Now, once complete, he'll create a polyurethane mold and work with students at the Riviera Beach Maritime Academy to make that cement replica to be submerged underwater there. And Torrente says she's excited to see the finished product. You don't know tomorrow might bring, you might not be around because of cancer, right? But to know that the image of my face will be there for years, can't explain it. It's tremendous. Well, McDonald adorned the statue with one tear that he says represents Torrente's 14-year-old daughter. Now, this is Torrente's third bout with breast cancer, and McDonald says his hope is that this statue will memorialize Torrente's story and struggle for divers in West Palm Beach, Florida, to see for years to come. So how does he make the statue? Because they really do look so similar. Yeah. He did a great job. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really interesting. So uh, McDonald takes a liquid rubber solution and pours it over Torrente's face, and he let that harden for about 15 minutes to make a cast, and then he molded the clay around that, and then, like I said, he'll be making a cement version of the sculpture to be lowered below the waves at West Palm Beach, Florida, come the beginning of February. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that sounds like a cool process. Thanks so much, Rob.